this session, I'll give you a brief introduction about how a product is being designed and developed. I'm not going to talk any complex topic today. It will be very, very basic, but the, the generic terms which are used in industries will be discussed in this next 45 minutes. Without any further delay, let me move to the introduction or the takeaway from today. So what will you basically take away from this session? Of course, you will know what, it's, what is for a product development and how the success of product development is being measured and the different stages of product development and who are all the participants or the stakeholders of the product development and how the different products are developed in different processes. What drives each product development process? And finally, a case study on automotive development, uh, which talks about the complexity of how the automotive uh, development is and what are all the various stages of automotive development and the challenges involved in it. To give a brief introduction about myself, I am uh, working in the automotive development for the past 13 years, I'm currently uh, doing the new program uh, management of the uh, passenger cars globally. With this introduction, let's start this session. First of all, what is a product? I wanted everyone to interact, but unfortunately, we don't have that option today. Uh, it's okay. So the product can be anything starts from uh, a small cotton bud or a food, a potato chips or whatever it may be. Starting from that, a big object like a car, a truck, uh, whatever you say, the, the things which are produced for the consumption and utilization of the public, we call it as a product usually. And each product, of course, cannot come just like that within seconds. You think about a product, it comes in your hand. No, each product development process, each product should follow some product development process to attain its final shape and reach the market. Okay, with that introduction, what is product development at first? It's very simple. You see a product in market, any product you take, it can be a chair, it can be a phone, it can be a small, uh, the, the clip which you use to uh, clip your clothes when you're drying it. Whatever you say, that's a product and how it comes to the market, someone would have thought about it at first. Some idea would have sparked in his mind and he made some plan on how to manufacture or how to produce that product. And based on that plan, he conducted some experiment. He tried various ways. He tried to use different raw materials. He tried to use whatever is available to meet his plan. And finally, he tested what he produced. And once it, he gets the confidence that whatever he produced has complete purpose of solving the customer's requirement, it can be launched into the market. This entire cycle of concept to reality. We call it as the product development, simple terms. Of course, you cannot say this is a standard definition of product development because product development itself is a management topic. Any management topic cannot be made as a standard definition. To make it more simple, you can say product development is from concept to reality. The idea, whatever comes to the mind can be anything. I just, I'm, I'm just walking over the road. I'm seeing a pothole. I just wanted to close that pothole, but I'm not able to do it right now. So how can I do it? I can buy a lid and close it. What if I can produce the lid, which I, which I can use it throughout the country to close it? If it is at a reasonable cost, I can sell it to the government. I can sell it to any local vendor who can do that. So this, this idea which once sparks in our mind and grows and grows and grows, it finally develops into a concept. This concept will make you think how that final product it should usually look like. For example, I'm, let, let us take a simple example to explain the complete presentation maybe. I'm trying to make a pencil. Uh, it's very, very simple. Pencil used by kids for their uh, writing. So 
I just want to know how I want to make this pencil and how I want to sell this pencil. So I want to, at first I want to know what is required in the market. So there are many pencils, many, many brand of pencils available in the market. So I want to know how I can sell my pencil. What should be my uh, unique selling point for my pencil? And what is expected by the customer as a basic? So customer should have some basic requirement of a pencil. So all this comes in the concept stage, uh, idea generation stage. So once I get gather all this idea, I, wa I will develop it into a concept. I just think in my mind, okay, the shape of the pencil should be like this. The color of the pencil should be like this. It should have an eraser at the top or no. The, the lead thickness should be like this, etc., etc. So this comes into my mind. I document it. 